You were 19 years old, you were at University of Alberta, and you were playing basketball, tore the ACL. And I'm sure at the time, this was probably the worst thing that could have ever happened to you. When you look back now, that led you down the path to boxing, right? It, was that a blessing in disguise? 100%, and I, um, I was lucky that I learned early on in my life that you know, when a door closes, a window will open, and it's your choice whether you want to creep through that window and figure it out on your own or, or not. You really fell in love with the sport. So what was the moment where you said, hey, this is something I want to do like professionally? I really did have a passion for the sport, and Milan was a family friend, and he's like, how's that boxing going? And I said, well, it's good. I'm just working out in the gym by myself. And he's like, unacceptable. He's like, I'll see you at Panther Gym at three tomorrow, don't be late. And the rest was history. That was 19 years ago. Not a lot of women fought back in the day and, and we had a few amateur fights and it was frustrating. Uh, he's like, you know what, enough of this. He's like, we're gonna turn pro and we're gonna pick our fights and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna have challenges. And you know what, we're gonna, we maybe might get paid eventually. <laughs> I heard that it wasn't as easy on the way up. At certain shows, you had to sell your own tickets, right? You had to kind of convince people to come, make a fan base for yourself. What was that like in the early years, trying to build that fan base? I feel like everything has been a challenge in my entire career. I was looked at as kind of like a sideshow on these um, on these boxing events. I had to sell my sell my own tickets to pay for my opponent's purse, not even my own. I fought for free, and and it was just to get experience. It was a hustle, and it was so much fun. When I first got under those lights and no headgear and small gloves, and I was in heaven. We had our first few fights, and we won, I think, most of them by knockout. And I was like, this is the best night of my life every time. Your winner by technical knockout. Part of your style is you do knock people out. And I've heard you say you want to take control of the fight. You don't want to leave it up to the judges. So in 40 wins, you have 19 knockouts, so almost 50%. Um, what makes you want to do go for the knockout so badly, take those chances? If I'm not entertained in the fight, then there's a problem. I Me, mean, I love that dog fight, and I love to like get out and, and get that war happening. And, and speaking of highlight reel knockouts, I saw the trilogy fight with you and Olivia Guerrilla. How good that, did that one feel? <laughs> Olivia was the first fight I had on the road. I fought in her hometown and I had never been booed in my life. And I was, I was like, what is this? I was losing the fight. I was losing every round. It was a six round fight. And um, going into the fourth round, my trainer said in the corner, he goes, listen, if you don't do something this round, we're stopping the fight. We're never talking about boxing again. So I go and I hit her with a, I hit her with a big punch at the end of the round. And he's like, okay, finally you did something. The next round I came out and I knocked her out with the exact same punch, exact same way. I think ever since then, Olivia and I had a little bit of bad blood. She came to Edmonton, she beat me in a decision at home. I didn't fight well. So the trilogy meant everything and more. And the fact that it's been seen so many times was icing on the cake. You mentioned your trainer, Milan, who was with you for your entire career. Um, and I, I know it's an emotional subject. Your trainer, Milan, um, had cardiac arrest, left in a, in a coma. Vegetative status, actually, so. I've read that you've said that, you know, there is a lesson to be learned in all of this, and it's a process that, that you have to go through. So what do you think is, is the lesson in, in all of this right now? I've been spoiled with a trainer. I've had the same guy who's been in my corner, whether we've, you know, laughed, cried, fought, um, celebrated. I've had one guy. And, you know, I think um, what I have to learn is to be adaptable, to be open-minded, um, you know, to be able to trust. I think the lesson that I can help teach other people is when you're going through something challenging, all you need to do is really work hard, um, believe in your values and, 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 you know, your work ethic and your perseverance and it's been eight months and I've been really depressed and if someone looks at me and looks at me as motivation to get out of something very terrible, then I'm doing my job. And knowing that Milan is always with me, but, but this is a new journey and a new path and new opportunities, and that's what I'm super excited about. Um, you are 100% inspiring people. You're continuing to fight, you're continuing your career. 
eight-time champion, three different divisions. You are in a brand new journey, but it sounds like you still have a lot to achieve. I want to be an undisputed champion. I think there's a lot of great fights made in my division, and I think it's one of the most exciting divisions in women's boxing right now. Honestly, I think I think you know the sky is the limit for my career. Um, as long as my body stays healthy and and you know we do things the right time the right way. So the fact that I am a pioneer of our sport and I was the first time first ever WBC Super Featherweight World Champion and are things that I'm gonna look back and be like, holy crap, that was like super cool and, and the things that I did and the people that I met and I think there's a time for reflection and then a time to to really push forward and, and achieve. And you know, I think a lot of people expected me to retire in the new year um, with the news of Milan or people are hearing about this now and and for me, you know, I think this is my my opportunity to show people how great we really are.